Hi everybody, um, it's Tiffany here. Today I want to talk to you about something that um, several of you have asked questions about um, and I don't mind generating content for y'all. I like actually doing that but I also want to show you a way that you can create some content for yourself whether you're wanting to put it on Facebook, whether you're wanting to make a postcard because we at Cobalt Baker SSK have that um, postage money, right? That the company will pay for you to send out your postcards, right? So you want to use that. Use every bit of marketing you can. Um, also like flyers. How do you make real estate flyers? What do you... Um, what template do you use? And some of y'all have Publisher and Publisher is great, but it's a blank slate and sometimes you want a template to work with. So today I want to talk to you about Canva. It's C-A-N-V-A dot com. Now, I've logged in. Um, when you first log in, if you've never been to the site before, you'll need to put in a um, login with your email and create a password, stuff like that. And don't be afraid to do that because then you can use that same username um, and password to log in on your tablet or your phone. This um, website has an app as well. And all the things that I've been working on, see these are different things that I've done. Then I can work on these same things on my tablet or on my phone. So we can take something here that we've done. And then maybe you're on the go and you want to pull it up and work on it on your phone or your tablet. And you can totally do that. Okay. So this is really great. All right. Now let's look at some of the templates. See, um, so it saves everything that you've done, which is nice. And then we can search the templates. Okay. So um, let's see what they have. Let's just type in real estate. Okay, real estate flyer, real estate brochure, postcard. How many times do y'all want to do a postcard or a newsletter? How great would that be to send out a newsletter to, you know, your clients, um, you know, past um, people who've purchased from you or sold from you, you know, like in a market update. Okay, so let's look at let, let's look at some of their templates. Okay, um, a flyer is one page. So let's say you've got a house you're wanting to market, an open house, whatever it is. So let's look at some of the options. Okay, on the left, you'll see all the options. Okay, and so we can scroll through. What what kind of house? Okay, well, that's obviously a little more urban. But remember, you can change out all of these pictures. None of them, um, you know, you don't really, you're not going to ever want to use any of these pictures. And see, like this one right here, it's two pages. So it's a flip side. And so is that one. Um, so scroll through and let's find one you like. Okay, well, this is simple. You could put four pictures of your home in this one, right? And then it's for sale and it has a little bit of information there. Um, let's live in that cabin in the woods. Who is with me? That would be nice. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of different one, a bit of the country. So you could do the outside of the house and maybe an inside house and then some details. That looks nice. Let's just, let's look at this one. Okay. Okay. So all of this. Let's say, okay, this is the one we want to we want to do, but this is obviously not the picture of my house, right? So let's go to uploads. Now you can upload any of your own images here, okay? Like I have the Gin Blue image here. I did something I had to put 13WMAZ in or the Telegraph thing, so I can upload any of my own images, okay? So let's say this is the front of our house. This image I've got here, okay? So I just switched out. Did you see how easy that was? I just switched out the image of the house. Did you see that? Oh, wait a minute. It's not the right size. What do I do? <gasps> undo. 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 There you go. Um, okay. And then let's see. Oh, no. I want it to be this image. This is a Cobalt Banker house. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Now, let's see. The inside of the house. What do we want? Do I have an inside picture of a house? Let's think, um, and you can upload, let's say, you know, you've got all the pictures of your homes, then you can just upload your own images. Um, and this is the people who made the top, whatever, um, listing and selling agents. So that was that what I had been working on last, so that was what was open on my computer. Um, but where, however you keep them, like I have some Facebook images um, that we use, or I just have um, some stock photos. Now, remember, there is a lot of stock photos when we go to CB Exchange, right? Um, and then there's that search bar, right, when you first go to CB Exchange. 
you can search for um, images, gallery photos, all kinds of things. And some of these, that's where they came from. They're from Caldwell Banker and you are free to use them. So let's say I want to have a picture of the kitchen of my home. You can go ahead and upload all the images of your home here, you know, the house you're wanting to promote. So that's what I would suggest. You can upload uh, several images. Okay, and then I want to take this picture of the kitchen and put it there. So this is the front of my house. This is what the kitchen looks like. Okay, but you know what? It's got, it doesn't have two beds. It has four beds. Oh, two beds and a four car garage. What crazy people are these talking about? This see what I'm saying? And you can just zoom in. Okay, that's a little too much. Back out a little bit. Okay, but any of this, you click on it. A bit of country. Um, well, okay, a taste for the ages. Maybe it's, you know, um, you want to say something different there. But all you do is you click on it, right? A modest home. A four-car garage is a modest home. That's very nice of them. Appreciate that. A modest home in the country with all the necessary farming facilities. Okay, this house was built in, oh, no, 2017. Um, blah, blah, blah. See what I'm saying? You can go in and change it. Let's say you don't like that font. See, look at the font. This is the fonts up here. You can go in and change the font. I want it to be this font because I think that's a cool looking font maybe. Um, or let's say um, this background. Um, I don't know about that. What background color do you think? Um, and see, you can use anything. You can slide this back and forth and then you can go around on the color wheel and find whatever color you want. Okay, let's do kind of a, I don't know, some color that we think is pretty, kind of light blue maybe. They're pale. Oh, come back here. Um, do a little pale blue. Oh, what did I do? Uh oh, what do you hit? Undo. <gasps> See, see how easy that is? I mean, it's so simple, y'all. I mean, this is so user friendly, super simple. And I mean, it just, I mean, we can all, you know, uh, there, there we go. There's a real pale, like, blue color, okay? And then let's say, oh, look at this. Okay, I don't like the color of that. I want this color, the, the, the writing to be black, maybe, or whatever. See, all of it is just so simple and easy to change. Oh, well, when I change this font, look, this, this bar is in the way. I don't want that bar to be there. So all you do is you click until that bar shows up and delete. I just hit backspace and now that's not there because you know I changed my font and all I'm saying is you can change your font you can click and drag out pictures it's so so simple to do okay so this is just a quick snapshot of Canva let's say I wanted to go back and let's say I want to make um, a postcard right because that's another thing we do a lot is postcards because we've got that free postage and y'all really need to take advantage of that so good just sold and just listed are like amazing and like look at this one look how simple this one is and it's so great because like you can put the picture of the house and of course once again you know you don't they don't want you to use their picture they want you to use your picture so let's go to uploads and let's use the picture of the house that I was using I was yeah so we're gonna use that as I just listed it and I just sold it because that's been happening, right? You're not selling out just, I mean, sending out just listed, just sold. You can send them out at one time, right? How cool, you know, is that? Um, so that is a, a real um, nifty thing that you can do. Um, and then the back of it, oh, um, you know, and most of the time y'all already have your back already done. Um, and, and sometimes y'all do have that in publisher. So let's say you save this, right? You like the way it is. You like everything that you've done. Okay. Then you go up here to download, right? You can download it as a JPEG, PNG, PDF standard, or PDF print. Okay. So download it however you want. So, um, they recommend this. Now I do know that if you download, um, PDFs and you have multiple pages, like maybe you did do a flyer and you're going to print it front and back. So it'll end up being one page, but you download each page that you've done individually. Um, it just works better that way. So I downloaded, um, 
and let me make sure that y'all can see what I'm doing here. It's going to come down right here. Okay, do you see that? Okay, this is our our flyer, right? So all you do is you then you would go to save, right? You're going to download it. I mean, we've downloaded it, but now we, we are going to save it. And so you decide where you want to save it at, you know, and this is, um, you know, a flyer or however you save things on your computer, you know, but you go in there and you save it. But, um, I mean, it's just really, really so easy and simple to do. Now, let me go back here. Um, and I just, I mean, I really want y'all to understand that this is something that you can do without, um, you know, it, it doesn't take a lot of in-depth thought. I mean, I, no, I shouldn't say that, that, but we all need a starting point. We need a launching point, right? I mean, I need that. And all of these right here, I mean, they, they give you good launching points, you know, for, for where, where to get started. Um, and then they have elements like if you want to add some photos, some of their photos cost. Don't use the ones that cost, only use the ones that are free. If you want to put a frame around something like the you know, to add or add a line or add a shape or an illustration. They have all these different things here that you can add. Um, you can make your background different. There are so many things you can do. Okay, so now let me go back to where I, it says Canva. And look at this. See, it's already saved. Did I? Did you see me hit save? No. It's already saved that um, light blue one that we did, right? <clears throat> And I mean, no, this isn't like absolutely perfect. Um, I'm just trying to tell you, you can change everything on it. And see this one, it's trying to generate a preview of what I've already done. You can, um, like this one, this is like, um, you could, if when I was saying you want, do you want to add um, these logos to your signature for your, um, your email signature? See, we, we, you can just write your name your information, and then you can add all those logos here in uploads and just pull them over. See, it's so, so simple to do. Um, so you can have your, you know, these logos in with your, um, with your email signature, because we are in the real trends top 500 at Cobalt Maker SSK, and we are a top 1000 power broker, go SSK. Um, so those are cool things, you know, if you want to do that, all you do is you save it as a JPEG, and then when you go into your email, I'm going to show you this thing, we'll pull up my email settings real quick, go to your email, go to settings, and when you save that image as a JPEG, then you come right here, see where it says insert image, then you can upload that image that you saved as a JPEG. See, and it lets you upload the different images. Um, I would highly recommend that you put this image also in your Google Drive um, because it's Google Gmail, you know. Um, you really want them to be to get, uh, Angela told me this and Angela is very much a guru about um, Gmail. But yeah, if your this image is in your Google Drive, it helps it populate better on your email. Sometimes it'll be like a broken picture link and you don't want that. So anyhow, you do that. If it's too big or too small, see, do you see how I just clicked on it? And then you can make it small, medium, large, the original size, or you can remove it if you didn't like what you did. All right. So that's a real brief snapshot of Canva and how it works. Um, like I said, there is an app. Um, in iOS, the app is free. Um, I do believe some people have mentioned that maybe it cost with Android, but um, and I know there are probably in-app purchases, but I can, I can use it free on both my iPad and my iPhone. So let me know if you have any questions, um, and we'll talk about some more stuff later. Thanks. Bye.